Uh, hey, this is just going to be a quick video to give a bit of a tutorial to the Guardian Escape that's in Sekiro. This is uh, be used in the uh, no air swim category. Um, it's actually been made obsolete in the regular category with a big air swim, but still used in the no air swim category. Um, it's it's a trick that can be made consistent, uh, but it's very difficult. It's like a long trick, and I don't think anyone's really made a video that kind of explains uh, kind of a, the way to do it consistently. So I'm just kind of making that. So apologies for the video quality. I am, I have recorded my gameplay, and now I'm recording VLC uh, media player again. So it's like double encoded. So it's not ideal, but um, should be okay. So I've got my inputs on my controller on the right, which should help out. So you want to be at the idle in front of Guardian uh, Eight uh, to uh, um, start this. You can see Guardian Eight is like over there. I've used my mouth pointer to like point things out. So one other thing uh, that I just did there to uh, that I definitely highly recommend when you're learning this trick is uh, download some kind of tool that lets you teleport Sekiro around. So there is a save manager utility by Jix. You can find on this if you go to SekiroRuns.com utilities. You can download it there, uh, and uh, it has the ability to save coordinates and recall. So as you can see here, like just, I just press F2, uh, and it teleports. That is basically I would say basically required. Well, not required. Like if you're on console, you can't do it, but um, it will speed up you learning this trick ten times because. This is tr a trick of like basically you have to do like five hard things in a row, and if you fail any of them, you've got to go back to the start, and there'll be a loading screen, and you can just skip all of that and just retry the individual bit uh, over and over with that tool. And because this is all about feel, most of it we won't be able to see the collision. It's really important that you can like uh, like just retry something over and over and over until you get the feel for it. So basically, that's almost required. Um, okay, so uh, into it. So probably the very first jump is probably the most precise part of it. Luckily it's obviously the part that you can retry. Uh, if you fail this, actually you fall on the ground, you can just quit um, quit out and reload and you'll be back up here. So it's actually not a huge time loss, but it's kind of frustrating. So basically I guess I'll show what it's supposed to look like and then I'll kind of walk through what I'm actually thinking. So this is what we want to do to get out of bounds. So the first thing I do is I line up like this. So we, we want to basically go along this left wall, wall kick off it, and then go in basically where there's no collision. There's like a window basically. Um, the first thing is I wouldn't recommend you hug this this wall. So you can see this wall here. I don't want to hug that. I want to go straight up here. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see, but that's kind of the edge basically. So that this edge here, that's where I try to line up with. So I line up with there, and then I go run straight off that point, obviously sprinting. You don't jump, it's easier to sprint. As soon as I fall off the edge, see my inputs, hook left. Uh, we want to hook left as hard as we can into the wall. Um, I just find that this method of like just going straight and then hook left as soon as you're uh, in the air gives the most consistency for the next part. And then ideally, you should be land about somewhere. You can use kind of this stone as like reference. You want to be like pretty high up, like at this point. I would recommend rather than mashing A to like uh, just get the wall kick as soon as possible. I would just press it once because then you can you can you have more control and direction over it. Sometimes you'll miss it, but I find it easy just to press it once. So we've been hooking left up to this point. Uh, I actually mo I move the camera in the air, as you see to like more face the wall. Um, camera movement is totally up to you, you just have to experiment. So I spin the camera around left so that I'm at this angle. Then I'm pressing up and right and A once. If you just go straight up the wall, you do a double jump where you just go straight up, which you will do a lot when you're practicing, that's like a fail if you ever do that. So what I want to do is I'm pressing up and right so to I get the actual wall kick forwards like that. Next part is as soon as you get that wall kick, you just hold left. So I'm just kind of holding forward and left, but mostly left. Because this window that we want to get in is on our left, and we need to get over that. So you need to go left as hard as possible, otherwise we'll just fall on the right-hand side of it. So that's what we do. We hold left, and then we fall through it. 
as soon as you get over the window, the next important thing is hold back so towards the wall. So I'm holding right here because basically there's a little rock that we're going to land on and it's just the void after it. So if we just kept holding left, we'd overshoot and then just fall into the void. So we're holding right and then we land on this rock, which is where we want to be. So again, I'll kind of show that in slow motion, I guess. Um, so lining up with that edge, going forward, I'm just going to sprint off. Then hook hard left, double jump at that point to the right, and then back hook left. So then we're on this rock. So that's step one of like five. So the next part is all you need to do is just sprint around. There's void all the way off to the left hand side all over here, but as long as you're sprinting against the wall, it should be fine. Uh, you need to actually go quite a bit out into the water at this point, because that's where the collision goes up to, so just make sure you're going all the way out here, but if you're sprinting against the wall, it should be fine. This is the, the first like semi-hard part. This shouldn't be bad once you've practiced it. Basically, there's a corner that goes like this. Um, and obviously the void is like right there, so if we overstep at all, we just fall off. The way that I know where this is, if you see for this these like white bit on the rock and like Sakira's head is just below it, just below it to the left, that is where this wall, basically, uh, the corner is. So as soon as you start to that point, you know I'm pressing up and I'm gonna pressing right now. Uh, I would recommend stop sprinting as well for this bit and then just hook right. Uh, I move the camera and hook right round there just to make sure that I don't fall. Once you pass that again it's kind of free for a little while so I was holding sprint it zigzags a little bit so you gotta go around to the left and then and then uh, around to the right here back around to the right and then the left and eventually you reach this rock. This is very similar to the previous bit where there's a corner basically there's a corner like here. Uh, this corner is a lot tighter though so it's gonna take it nice and easy so what I do is kind of line myself facing this way and I'm just gonna tap forward. Tap forward and secure will slowly go into the wall once Sakura's kind of like his head is in the wall, he's like basically on the corner now, so you don't want to go any more forwards. So now I'm just tapping right and down. It's something where the slower you take it, the easier it will be. It's if you're rushing and you're tapping too much, that's when you'll fall off. So I'm just kind of tapping down, down, right and right until I feel like I'm round the corner and spinning the camera around. You know you're round when the music kicks in, which you just hear there. That means you've made it round the corner. So immediately there's a jump here. So right here is a big gap so we need to jump it so what we're going to do is I use this light as a bit of a reference point I kind of run this way um, when you do a, to do a sprint jump you need to sprint for X amount of time like a, like a two seconds or so uh, before you can get that max height so we're just going to sprint into the wall then m move our sprint left so we can get this sprint jump so I kind of use this light but like, okay I want to go kind of here relative to that light kind of sprint for a bit turn left and jump up to the up left so important point here is this wall kind of hooks around to the right a little bit. So you want to make sure you're kind of pushing to go around to the right. If you just jump to a straight line here, you'll just jump into the void. So the way I do that is kind of spin the camera around to keep Sakira pushing against this right wall. So like that. It's not too bad of a jump, so you should be okay with that. The music kicked in because Guardian Ape is now aggroed, so we want to be going pretty quick here. So we're going to be sprinting, hugging around this right wall. It's free as long as you stay against the right wall. It zigzags a little bit, so watch out for that. Once you get like to here, you want to start pulling the camera up, because right now obviously you can't see anything, so you need the camera at a really high angle so that you can see what you're doing. So you get to this point, you want to get to here as quickly as possible, because you're probably already here. Guardian Ape is actually already doing an attack. So, and it's very possible if you're still over here, you can just get hit and die. Um, which, you know, you might be able to res yourself, it's probably fine, but it's not ideal. You want to get to here, so you can see all these leaves. That leaves kind of roughly represents the collision. Where we want to be is right here. You see this corner? We want to stand right on top of that corner. So position yourself like there. You see, there's the attack, but we're too far to the left. Once you're in that corner, you want to look at the rock and look for this bit. So obviously it's the rock face, look for this little lighter bit. Uh, and that's what we're going to be aiming for, so aim secure right up there. So we're standing in this corner, aim at this rock. You're now set up for this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a standing jump. So we're just going to press A, not pressing any direction. We don't want to jump forward. But as soon as we've pressed A, we're holding forward because we're going to do a standing uh, jump 
and then push against this part of the rock. Then we're just, we're just going to mash A to get a double jump as soon as possible, still holding forward, and we'll jump straight up. Uh, so I'll show that. So this is obviously at half speed. So we do the first jump. We're holding forward, mashing A, and then we get the double jump. As soon as you get like up in the air from that double jump, like when you're at the height of it, just hold right. Just don't press anything. Just hold right, and you should just land over there. That is one of the more precise jumps. If you just try to wing that, like if you try with the teleport or just loads of different strategies, you'll find that that is actually a really difficult part of this. But I find that setup is really consistent, so I'd highly recommend you do that. As soon as you're past, again you want to dash because uh, the um, the ape is going to attack you. So just let's sprint along here. There's kind of this white fog line. That's where the kind of the collision is. You're kind of safe. You've got a bit of a safe zone here. So you can see I'm I'm going a little bit left here than I even need to. The void is somewhere like over here, so you can bear right here. There's some places where you get sniped a little bit here, but just if you just follow along the wall, it's fine. This bit is fairly easy. You're going like into like this cave area. So once you're in the cave area, spin the camera over. Like I'm pressing left here, um, so that you can see what you're doing. You want to get the camera kind of yeah push securely kind of more into the corner, push the camera in this direction. You should get a, an angle like this where you can see this rock formation. The edge of the collision is roughly there, so watch out. We want to go right right to the edge around there. We're going to get kind of near there, so about here. Then we're going to do a quit out. The reason why we're doing a quit out is because it deaggroes the guardian ape. Um, because we're now like outside of his like aggro radius. Um, if you can, you don't have to do the quit out. If you watch a lot of runners, they won't do a quit out there. But it means that you won't get crap thrown at you because the boss uh, can throw poop basically, and he can hit you from here even though you're out of bounds. And if you're mid jump when he does that, you'll just get hit out and you'll die, and you'll have to spend 30 seconds rolling through the void, and it's like a massive time loss. So that's quite out, you know, costs like a second in in-game time. I highly, highly recommend you do that. So once we're back in, again, we're kind of pulling the camera back around to a different angle. Because what you want to do is get our camera above this little rock here, at like an angle more like this. The void is like literally right here and we're edging along. So a good reference reference point I have to where to stand is where you can see the mortal blade. So you can see them I can now, you know, see the mortal blade entirely. Um, just go back to that. Once you can entirely see the mortal blade, like you're in there at the right spot. With you know, looking this way, so I kind of have this picture in your mind. You can see the mortal blade, you're facing up, the rock's like there. Once you're in this position, it's kind of similar to the jump before, but in a different and in a very important way. So we're going to now just basically mash A to get a double jump, because we're I've pressed a little bit. Notice I've pressed up a little bit, because there's a wall right here. Make sure I'm right against that wall. It's important so I can get the double jump. Uh, now I'm just going to mash A, and I'm not going to press forward. If I pressed forward before I got the double jump, then I would double jump forward and just fling myself into the void. So I, I'm just going to mash double jump until I just get a double jump. Like that. As soon as I see this double jump come out, I'm holding forward, and I'm going to hook around to the right very quickly. So I want to go round like this. Basically, that's how I think about it. Yeah, so hook around to the right. An annoying bit of this part is you will like never be able to see yourself land. So as soon as you land, honestly, I would just let go of the controller and then just move the camera until you can see Sekiro again, like that. This next part uh, is we need to do a jump around to the left because this collision comes out too far and there's no floor, so we need to jump around it. So similar to a previous jump before, we obviously need to run against a wall so that we can build up that sprint to do the sprint jump. So we sprint in this direction, turn our sprint to this way and jump and also similarly hook around to the right to make sure you stay hooked against the wall and don't just accidentally jump into the void. So sprinting this way, move it this way, jump and then hook around to the right. I, again I move the camera to like make that be easier. Once you're here you're largely home free. This next part you don't need to jump, you can just like walk along it uh, but it's quite narrow so it's actually easier just to do it jumps. So I'm literally just mashing A here and holding forward like pushing against the wall a bit. Once you're kind of over here-ish be careful not to move too far right, otherwise your camera will get stuck in some collision. So I'm moving the camera around so I can see where I'm going, and I'm kind of going along in this direction. The floor is actually pretty accurate here to the collision, so you'll see in a sec. See, so there's floor below me, so I can, uh, I can, uh, I know there's collision. The collision goes up right up to 
where this the, uh, where you can see it. As soon as you're here, all you do is just walk around, uh, nice and easy, and get back to the lowest. I think you can pick it up from around here, but I just walk around to the back, and then you just press X, pick it up, and then homeward idle back to the most recent place, and you will be going into Ashina Castle for the final boss fight. Um, so I'll just show that again in real time because I was all at half speed and me stopping a lot to get you an idea of how it looks at full speed um, so you see we're at Anish uh, Sheena Castle so I'll just jump back to the start and then we'll watch it at full speed so I'm lining up with this edge um, yep uh, hook left, double jump right and then hold left holding back to stay against that wall Sprinting around this part's nice and free. We're looking out for that rock with the white spot. There it is. Just walk around it. This part's free. Just going around these rocks a little bit. When we see this rock, we're just going to tap towards it. Tap and then back around here. Once we hear music, we're good. Sprint, jump this way. Hog right, holding to the right here. Raising our camera, going left, looking for this spot. Looking for that spot on the wall. Aiming up and just holding right, going through there. Now we go around until we're in the cave. Once we find our spot, that's where it is. We're gonna quit out. Yeah, remember obviously the in-game timer isn't running while we're loading, so it's like fine. Then hook at this wall, wait until we can see the mortal blade. There it is, so we just mash A, hold forward and right, go round, sprint this way, then jump that way, holding right, just mash A and forward to get through this bit and just walk slowly, careful not to go too far right to get our camera stuck nice, we're good, and we just walk all the way around and then just pick up the lowest flower okay, so that was Guardian Eat Skip um, now that we actually have a proper S from category, this trick will actually play stay relevant for longer like I say, in the regular category there's like an alternate version of this with Airstream the end is actually still the same, but it doesn't do this full version of the skip um, so I hope this is useful, like, I'm not like the best runner in the world at this, in particular the first jump is just, I f it's really hard to be really consistent at the first jump, but the rest of it I find you definitely can do every time. Um, uh, but yeah, if anyone has any tips that I didn't mention here, like, let me know, I can kind of point them out, uh, and to make it even easier for you guys, but I hope this is helpful, uh, I'll catch you all later, see ya!